Greetings ladies and gents, my name is Chameleon and welcome back to the game Oxen Free. Last time we left the girls at the campfire, we left our stoned friends near the entrance of the cave and Jonas and me myself went into the cave. And what we found there after a long maze of climbing and figuring out what I had to do. Some kind of radio frequency which was really odd, some kind of person or, or computer trying to talk to me, which was really weird. It was, it was... On, on the on, uh, on the weird scale, it was like 15 out of 10. It was really, really weird. And then... Some... Gibberish happened, the screen went white, we were under the ocean. We blacked out and now we are here together with Jonas, our stepbrother. I really don't know how this is going to continue, but we are going to see that right now. Let's get into the game, let's get rolling. Continue. Alex. Yes. Alex. Yes. Yes? Hi. 11 p.m. Alex? <sighs> Are you okay? I don't know, am I? Uh, I, 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 I think so. Dead for a minute. Well, click. I think so? I don't know. God. Oh, the clicking system. Do I look alright? You okay? <sighs> Are you okay? okay? Yeah. yeah, I think. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there. But the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't want to be the party pooper here, but the party just kind of... I don't know. This is kind of exciting, right? Yeah! Exciting? Alex, we don't... To think something's exciting, you kind of have to know what that something is first. And uh. we just got crapped out of the laser light show from hell, so... I'm not sure this qualifies uh, okay. as like something good. Okay. All right. I guess if you want to play it safe, never play on the railroad tracks, right? Exactly. I've had my fill. Let's just leave. Fine. What is oh, this? Oh, enough for nothing. I'm oh. fine with a little deep pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really not in the mood. So. Uh, ho 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 ho! I'm as freaked out as you are, Jonas. Yeah. All right? I have a splitting headache and like. I feel like my fingernails are gonna shoot out of my hands. Damn, woman. Mine too. Just cross your fingers the comm tower has a working walkie-talkie or something. Talk about what happened, it probably won't. Where's everyone else? Can we talk Wait, about what Jonas, happened? Seriously. Like, yeah. What just happened? My radio, I guess, opened something, and that something did something else. And that something was really friggin' scary and horrible, so let's just skip to the part where we get off the island and start suppressing it in therapy. <laughs> Dang. So, can I not interact with this with the, with the plug? No? I'm trying to. Oh, wait. Right. Enter button. Harden Tower. Oh, it's called that, I think, because the radio man who watched it, he was Major Richard Harden. I don't know why I remember that. I don't know either. <laughs> wait, wait, the guy's name was Major Dick Harden? <laughs> 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 It almost makes the whole trip worth it, doesn't it? <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. I would. <laughs> Major Dick Harden, really? Oh, I feel so sorry for that person for having such a name. But it is really funny. I'm sorry. It just is really funny. Oh, it's a staircase and it's very pretty. Very big lighthouse belonging to Major Dick Harden. It's a large lighthouse, a large pillar. A large pillar belonging to Major Dick Harden. Why? <laughs> Why? Uh, let's just walk up. So many stairs. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming, Jonas. I'm coming. Don't you worry about it, big brother. Or small brother, little brother. Step brother. At least step brother. But is he younger or is he older than me? I cannot remember. I'm not even sure if he told me. Or they told me. Or not. Or There's just a lot going on in this game. Here we are. The top. At the very top. So, now what? Let's look at a few. Yes. I can see the cave, but not Ren or anybody. Right, how's Ren doing? What do you think happened to them? I don't know. Same thing as us. They're being stupid. They got scared off. They're being stupid. They're just being lame. I can hear Ren now. Let's go to the fort and throw rocks at walls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so, what do we have here? Try door. Nope. It's locked. Of course it Let is. Let me try. Uh, what? 
be my guest. After you. Oh, why? Thank you. What are you? What are you doing? What are you even doing? Just have a little faith. You're a lock picker. Are you a? Have you been thieving around before I met you, Jonas? So I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna climb through the window. Am I not? <clears throat> yep. Well, if you want to do, this. see. Haha. <laughs> Good I job. Have to say, yeah. How did you do I'm that? Impressed. How'd you do that? It's just pressure and a library card for most older locks. Yep. Huh. Cool. Yeah, that is cool. Ooh. Machinery, generator, this thing? phone. I don't know. Phone last thing. Let's Fence look at this. Should be off now. Great, but um don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. Uh don't you trust on, me? Don't you trust me? The light turned off. I trust the light is turned like, on. Hurt me on purpose or anything, but you know, if the fence kills me on accident, it's not really about trust at that point. <sighs> oh, we're talking about a fence downstairs. Okay, machinery. Warning: Do not use aboard ship. Unsafe. Radiation limits. Oh, great. You know, I'd normally find this stuff kind of interesting. Really? Then you know, still do normally. Yeah, right. You don't have to make me feel better about oh. getting you trapped on Horror Island. That was sarcasm. Horror Island? Hor what? It sounds a little different than what we're on right now. <laughs> Why would you think I said Horror Island? Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Radio. SOS Mayday. We need help. Anyone is, there? Um, is anyone there? Ooh. It's... Dead. Yeah, right. Did you Is it anyone? Someone was there. Someone was there, but I don't know. Uh, so, phone. Maybe we can use Maybe the phone. Call tone, but there's a note here. Does not yeah. call out. Please dial station code for service. There wouldn't happen to be a code there, would there? Nada. Nada. Does it even matter? No nope of nada? Really? Ah, oh! Jesus! Okay. Um, hi. Com Tower speaking. Communications Tower. Alex? Alex? Is that Ren? you? Ren? <laughs> oh, Jesus, Hoppin' Christ! Thank Vishnu! I, <laughs> you guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff. I have no idea what happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I, I saw the light on in the, uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> it's still funny. Ren, how are it you is. calling us? Phones don't work here. Yeah. It's, it's a code written on this list. Ah. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at uh, the way station or whatever in the woods. Okay. It's been like like just the worst thing ever. Just DEFCON Fuchsia level terrible ever since you Ren, went. are you all right? But, yeah. Physically all right, because I know mentally you're no, probably. No, I'm not all right. I mean, do I sound all right or do I sound not all what right? What happens? I probably sound not all right, right? Wait, I, I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's like a night watchman or something, or they do like check-ins maybe. Wait, hold, hold, hold on, Ren. Someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm going to see who it is. Okay, but make it quick. Seriously. Yeah, yeah. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ. Alex? Knew Why it. Are you answering it? This, it says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa? So I just tried to click. I, I was talking about in the previous episode about these balloons popping up. Yes, I've still not seen the comments of the first episode. The first episode is going to air today. Like I said during my Papers, Please playthrough, I've got a deadline. I'm very stressed. I'm going to be gone for the weekend. Well, I'm not very stressed anymore. I'm more relaxing now because I'm probably going to make the deadline. Yay! Give me applause. Give me a round of applause. Yes, yes. Cheer me on, guys. Woo! Thank you. <sighs> no, seriously, thank you. <laughs> Anyway, so I tried clicking on these balloon thingies, these heads that pop up, that means some relationship things, I guess. Just to see if I could ask my partner in crime, Jonas in this in this case, if he has any comments on this person or whatever, but apparently this person does not. So, and as I said as well, now I've passed the game and I can see all the things that I can react to, but I won't be more impulsive about it, so I'm just going to resume right now. And Jonas is with you, of course he is. Okay, look, okay. Yeah. Marissa. Ren's on the other line and sounding like he's about a stubbed toe away from a total collapse, so if you're at least holding it together, Wait, then... wait, wait, I... I'm at Fort Milner, and I can't... 
I don't remember like the last hour and it's like really scaring the crap out of me. Oh gosh. I'm trying to call somebody but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can it says it can contact Kamina but I don't I have no idea how to make it work. Damn, what is going on? Can you figure this out with me? I don't uh, care if you guys want to stay. No, I just come yeah. here instead. Fort yeah. Miller's all the way on the other side of the island. Yeah, I know it is Alex, but why would I go to the comm tower when there's a working radio that we can use to get help here? Fort Milner looked huge on the map. Do you know where the... Hello? And it dies, ladies and gentlemen. M it's maybe... Like the world is Ren, conspiring against us, I swear to God. Ren? No? Oh, gosh. Yeah, I guess that'd be too easy. What is going on? So, want to truck over to Milner first? See about that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but gotta take the bitter with the sweet. Yeah, but... Ren sounded kind of more out of sorts than usual. I don't know. Ren was doing well, much worse than Clarissa. Really up to you. We can swing through the forest and nab Ren, or we can go to the fort and see what Clarissa says. I have to choose. They're your people. You can decide. Ren. Ren needs us more. Yeah. And he'd kill me if he knew we went to see Clarissa first. Sound logic. Ooh, let's go. Save Ren. Save Ren. But wait, this is Ren. This is Clarissa. Where? Where is Nona? 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 Something like that. So, okay, we're gonna save Ren. Great. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, our rescuing duties have officially commenced. Let's get this done and get off this rock like the badasses we are. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. we are. Righteous. <laughs> we are badasses. We are very much so badasses. Oh, this is interesting and weird. And I can also see now what people have been talking about story wise in this game. I chose to go with Jonas. What would have happened if I stayed with Ren? What would have happened if I stayed with the girls? Where would the game have taken me then? That is the interesting part of this game, probably. It's going to develop the story more. So I'm already considering a second playthrough, but it also depends on you guys. If you guys are enjoying the game as well so far as I am. I hope you are. I really do. I hope you like it. I hope you like me. Do you like me? I hope you like me. I like me. I like me. I like myself. Uh, Jonas, get down, please. Thank you. I'm walking so far ahead. That's not nice of me. I'm not a nice person. I, I just said that I am. Ah, don't listen to me. You don't know what I'm talking about. You know nothing. You know nothing at all. Just as I don't know nothing. I know nothing about this game. I do not know what is going on. I like the music though. <laughs> so here's the fence and we turned off the generator. So now we can walk through. Yeah! Harden Tower, Heffen uh, yeah, okay, but we have, we have to go to Effany Field. Go to Effany Fields. Yes, let us go, let us move on! This is really interesting though. I really wondered what happens to these guys. Like. My friends and, and, and the radio station, why did we black out? It is so odd and weird. What do you think is going... How, How are you are doing? You, uh, doing. First, where do we need to go? We have to go save Ren over here. So we have to... We are on the Effany field. We have to go to the left, to the upper left. Okay. I'm fine, I guess. Why? Stuff is crazy, uh, that's why. Da. crazy, you know? So just making sure your shoes are still on your feet. Toby Woods. Yes, that's where I need to they go, are. but let's finish they the conversation are. first. How are you? Uh, uh, great. Me, I'm great. I'm like a pog in its own... F a pig in its own filth is what I meant to say. Yeah. Good talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was a very good talk. Okay, let's go to the to the thingy. Let's go, let's, let's go to the thingy. Let's go to the thingy and meet the thingy. <sighs> a lot of loading screens this time. Can't help it. But I'll skip through them for you guys. You know I'm a nice guy like that. I won't let you guys wait. Except for now. I'm letting you guys wait right now. Because the loading screen is already over. Isn't that amazing? I... Oh, wait. Wait. We are going to bridge stand. Okay. Um, didn't realize just how much woods there were. This 12 a.m. Like, like a genuine forest. It's... Yeah, it's like, what? 
20 square miles or something. It's like half the island. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was just going to be a park or something. Nope. Uh, he just started. There, there is a park. a park, but it's part of the woods. But I just want to make sure, you know, that we know where we're going. We, we know, of course, vaguely. We do. Um, yeah, vaguely. vaguely. Yeah. We know vaguely where we are going. We have a map. You know, this whole place really creepily reminds me of a park or woods, I guess, near where I used to live. It's really kind of felt just like this. What was oh, it called? Yeah. yeah. What was that one called? Peabody, I think. Peabody. I'm trying to remember the sign, but like half the letters had fallen off, so it spelled pea pork. <laughs> My dad was awesome. really happy to move here, you know? He said the schools were safer, less knifings per capita. I guess he uh -huh. never considered the danger of whatever's happening right now. I'm not going to cross the bridge before they finish talking, but just because maybe the bridge is going to collapse or something and I do not want to miss any conversational stuff. But, Which sounds horrible. You know, Every yeah, we once had a mall Santa who was kidnapping kids. I think that's been so far the scariest thing that's happened. Dang! Well, I mean, to be fair, that does sound pretty scary. Oh, yeah. Santas are not supposed to be creepy. But I can see how they can be creepy. Should I jump that? No. Should I, though? Maybe I should. <sighs> Jesus, what are you doing yeah. jumping across that? There's another, there's like another way down here. I can't believe you even made it. Look, Jonas, I do like a million jumping jacks a day. This is nothing. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't realize. Sorry. So, are you going to make it? Make it. Thank you. Haha. -ha. Now I kind of want to know what is down there, though. <laughs> you. Just going to go back just to, just to check. Just to check, just to see what is down there. Because, according to the map, I cannot go down. No, there's no no area for me to find down here. So, this must lead to something interesting. Maybe, should I try it? Just to pull out the radio and see if something happens. Uh, I'm unsure if the game tells me when to pull out the radio. Or something can actually happen. Well, that kind of answers my question, doesn't it? Okay, okay. Very maximum on the creep factor. Thank you very much. I've heard enough. Oh, so much better. Though it is strange because we cannot get radio signals here. So this piano certainly turns rather creepy as well. Anything else? I love pianos. I love playing the piano. You're not very good, are you? Oh, wait, wrong button. Never mind. That was interesting. So I guess we have to go to the left, but let's see where this goes. Nothing. Nowhere. Oh well. Never mind then. It's just a path that ends randomly, because that makes complete sense to so just let the path end randomly. It's not even a way there was a path ever down there. There was a tree stump though. Well, a tree stump. A, a, like a fallen tree. Which we could have climbed, I guess. Hello, hi. Roosting this tree. So weird looking. Apparently, it's four hundred years old. There's a cafe in town named after it. Okay. Next on the tour of Edwards Island, <laughs> an old bush. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Who cares? History. Am I right? I'm not making fun. It's just, it's a tree. <laughs> yeah, it is a tree. Well, I'm a tree hugger, and I love trees. Okay, so this brings me to the bridge stand, which is where I need to go. However, now I do not know what the upper part leads me to. Be right back, people. Because I kind of want to know. I just want to know where it leads. I just want to know where we go. Where are we going? Hiking through the woods. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, here we are again. Woohoo! There you go, Jonas. Well done. Well done, stepbrother. I still want to call him little brother, but I have a feeling he's older than me. For some reason. For some reason, I have a feeling he's older than me. Doesn't mean he is, though, but I have a feeling that he is. So here to the left, we can once again go to where we want to go. But let's see what we... Oh! Look! 
There's a pile again over there. The stone pile Ren was talking about. Should I look out for those things? Oh, that's a thing. Wait, was that the guy that just spoke? It's like scenes. We heard the guy speak to this other female, like, about the forest, and then it jumps to a news message that he killed himself. His body was found hanging from a tree in the... That was it? George III. <sighs> It'll be good having some... Yeah, and then it starts over from the, from the beginning again. Okay! Great! So I have to look out for these piles of rocks then. How many did I already miss? How many did I already miss? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'll 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 be a better person from now on. I'll be a better person. I'll I'll, I'll look ahead much more. I swear. Let's go to the bridge stand. Let us see. Let us see. Here we are. Fantastic. So this is the bridge stand. Okay, so now we have to go to the camping grounds. And then we can go to the relay point to save Ren. I guess. I hope. Only later to figure out that I'm going horribly wrong all the time already. And I should have walked around in another fashion. I know I can go up there. I know, but I kind of want to see what is down here. There's much more exploration going on in this game than I expected. Maybe there's a pile of rocks. Oh, this is down. This is the down thingy to the Toby Hood. Yeah, okay, so that we, if we didn't jump over there, then we could have gone down here and then... Could, okay, I get it. I get it. I'm sorry. I just want to explore. I want to explore everything this game has to offer. I guess it's a fun game. It really is. Hello? Hello? It's a very um, big bridge. Why is there a cable car here? Couldn't it's, they oh, there is. Made, like... Like a normal bridge with wood and it's not a cable car, it's a bridge ferry. Yeah. Bridge ferry. It's an army thing. Kinda cool, yeah, right? Kinda yeah. neat, right? It's like going on a gondola ride. It looks less than welcoming. Or huh. at least it doesn't look very inviting. Maybe there's another or way. Even on. Look, ah. it's a little scary, but Ren needs us. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. All right, well, let's just see if we got to take the um, conveyor thing. It's been rotting here since the invention of ovens. <laughs> that doesn't make me feel very safe. Can we just, just jump? Oh, there's another pile over here. And a graveyard. I'm going to check the graveyard first. Smallest cemetery. Oh, check out the smallest cemetery in the Pacific Northwest. Literally, it's from the 1800s. Jesus, okay. I thought that was a pet cemetery. I'm kind of relieved, this island's depressing enough. It's still a cemetery. Though, I guess a pet cemetery is a little bit... More? Less? I don't know. I don't know what is more depressing. What? Where is it? Gosh, this thing is scary. So I guess it's this thing. I don't know. I'm just gonna... Maybe it's just random. Maybe that's just random. I need to find the other one. Maybe if there is another one. Here we go. Yeah! Easy. If indeed he find fault with anything, or expose it with charity, the abbot shall discuss it prudently. Lest perchance God has sent him for this very thing. Easy. If indeed he That was it, and it was really difficult for me to understand what they were saying. Did any of you guys get it? Did any of you guys understood it? Please let me know in the comments below. Because I didn't. I certainly didn't. So we have this cable thingy here on the left. 
So what is up here? There's a house with lights. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Power transfer station 167. Yes. And we can go in. Okay, that's a little strange. Why would yeah. they lock it? Indeed. I mean, somebody should have locked it, right? Uh, and they forgot. Maybe the guy in charge of the forest closet forgot. Maybe. Or he's dead. Uh, don't say that. <sighs> Jonas. Yeah. I'm just saying maybe he's dead. I hope not. Ooh. That's neat. Circuit breaker. I found the circuit breaker. Wait, like the first thing it says is beware of overload. Do not attempt to restart without supervision. Um so I don't know. John, yeah. <laughs> be my supervisor. Supervisor Jonas. Yeah. So what does it say to do? Just let me do it. That way if something bad happens, you know. That's very sweet. Yeah. Really, but I'm not the type of sister you need to throw your coat on the puddle for, okay? Who? Okay. It's your barbecue. Main switch. Don't die. Uh, what did you flip? Because it kind of did the opposite of what we wanted. Uh, I, flip I flipped the... Uh, it's the only one, Jonas. What other switch could I even flip? Well, good point. The lamp's flickering. Do you think it's like on backup power now or something? Maybe we broke it since we had two. It yeah. It sounds like it's emitting some weird noise too, right? Yeah, a little. Uh oh. For some reason it reminds me of the cave. Uh huh. Me Let's too. Just try to get the power on, all right? Everything about this is making my skin crawl. Exit, Jonas. Don't worry. Uh, don't hey, worry. Don't worry. This will be just another in a series of escalating funny stories to tell our parents when we get home. Oh yeah. If we get home. We will. Here we go again. This is going to do something, it must. The lamp seems to synchronize. With the radio, it's flickering. But... No, nothing. All the way around. Yeah, there it is. What was that? That's... That's... God, I haven't heard this in forever. This is something my mom used to... <laughs> oh! I'm so tired of this funhouse bullcrap. Oh, yeah. Why? Why did this happen? So now the electricity is back on. I didn't even know that we needed that. But it is back on now. <laughs> So we can figure stuff out. And the door magically opens. Time to go. Time to go. Come on, Jonas. Hurry up, buddy. Uh, was that there before? No. Was it? Uh, was it? Was it? I'm not sure. So. I, I, I haven't really been paying attention. Alex, are you all right? Uh... Alex! <laughs> <laughs> Not funny. Not funny. Yes, it was. Opposite, total opposite of funny. Look <laughs> it was worth it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jonas. What a night. I just have to huh? mess a little bit with you. What a night. Not what I expected. Sorry about this. Sorry. <sighs> yeah. Sorry about this. No, no. I'm gonna go up first on the trail just to see what we find there before I go to the, uh, the f bridge ferry. Ferry no, bridge. I'm not, um, I'm not saying it like it's anyone's fault. It's nobody's fault. It just happened. Stuff. Yeah, happened. yeah you're right. Stuff happens. It just sucks that we'll be all the right. stuff that's happening is like really terrifying and annoying. Yep. Right, because I saw that radio thingy up there. So I, I saw it when I was in the in the shed in the house. So I had a feeling I can go up here and we can learn some more stuff. Or maybe it's just a milestone thingy or a collectible thingy. I don't know if it really has a story or anything. I'm trying to listen what they're trying to say. It's kind of difficult. So here we go again. Oh. There we go. I know who I am, and I know who you are, 
and nothing else makes a difference. That was it. Again. It's about these two people, probably. I think these are the husband and wife, where the husband killed himself over depression. Did they say the wife already died, and that was why he was so depressed? And then he hang himself from a tree, which might be the tree we were just discussing about, about tree of history. M might be. I'm not sure. Might be. Okay, let's get to the ferry. Let us get to the ferry. I like the animations. I mean, the, the walking animation is a little bit stuttery. Like, it's like a little jog. But, like, uh, the stairs and, and climbing and everything, that is really well done, really put together. Campgrounds. That's where we needed to go, I thought. Oh. Like a barracuda. Oh, yeah. Barracudas don't hum. Uh, this one is. This one is. <laughs> so, we have to take this elevator across the camping grounds then. I think. Praise the Lord. Woo! Go to the camping grounds. Come on. <laughs> oh, I like that. I like that a lot. I really like that. I like so much about this game. I I, I, I like everything. I, li I like... All is likable. All is like I'm likable. Are you likable? I think you are likable as well. We are all likable. Let's all be likable together. Yes. Let's all just go in a big... Pile, a big pile of likable people with likable things, likable, agreeing on likable stuff. Let's just go and do that. Let's be likable. All of us. And here we are. And... And that's it. That's it. All the time that I have for this episode of Oxen Free. Inter interesting stuff is going down. The group is split up. Where is Noah or... or Na Naola, or... I, I really forgot her name. Na Nona? Nona? Something like that. Where is she? Clarissa is in trouble, but we're not going to save her. We're going to save Ren and see what is up with Ren. Ren was on brownies. Ren was on drugs. And, and, and for some reason went from the beach all up in the north of this island. How is that even possible? And how did we end up at the comm tower anyway? How is that possible? It was a teleportation? Are we in another dimension? Are we talking to people in another dimension? I don't know, but it's weird! It's really weird. And then the chair that just pops up, the door that just opens. It is also a little bit horrifying. There's a little bit of scaries going on in this game, and I actually like that. I really do. So, I really hope you are enjoying Oxenfree. I'm really looking forward to the comment section later this evening. For now, thank you so much for watching. If you like this episode of me playing Oxenfree, and I'm so sorry I'm skipping skipping ahead. I'm not skipping ahead. I'm working ahead because I just don't have the time later in the week. But if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And then I will see you in my next video. Inspect the bridge. It's thinner than your leg. It snapped any second under your weight. I'm gonna cross it anyway. I'm gonna die. But really? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> oh, the deaths are great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> really? Do I really want to do that? Okay. Uh, we still got the frog, so I probably have to 